CM Sportsnet's high school sports highlights are sponsored by Genovitz to Go. Locations in Westminster, Hampstead, Manchester, Hanover, and Eldersburg. Genovas, pizza, pasta, subs, and more. The West Carroll Summer League for girls basketball is winding down for 2023 with 11 varsity teams combined from Carroll, Frederick, Howard, and Montgomery counties, along with one club team and two teams from Southern Pennsylvania. Carroll's contingent includes Century, Liberty, Francis Scott Key, Manchester Valley, Westminster, and Winters Mill. Private school Springdale Prep out of New Windsor is also local. The summer league consists of varsity and junior varsity teams. Teams began play in early June on Mondays and Wednesdays, and the final week of games is set for July 31st and August 2nd. Host Francis Scott Key got a chance on Monday, July 24th for an intra-squad scrimmage when Tuscarora couldn't attend. Chalk it up to a good opportunity for the Eagles as new coach Mitch Walford gets a chance to see his players together for the first time since they won the Carroll County Athletic League title under then-coach T.J. Devlin. Kind of like I've already already said to some people, I've been handed a pretty good set of keys. Coach Devlin's done a great job. The girls here have done a great job. So it's just a matter of getting to know them and kind of keeping the ball rolling. Um, but yeah, great. Last winter, FSK won its first outright county title in four years behind a host of talented players. Key graduated the CM Sportsnet Player of the Year in Allie Mathias, as well as all county forward Rena Miller. But Walter says he likes what he has seen so far from this group this summer. Yeah, it's been great. Um, the community's been great. All the girls have been great. Um, I've really used it as an opportunity to kind of get to know the girls. And just like any summer league, any off-season opportunity, how can we get the girls that are going to be playing with each other on those different levels that are going to be new with each other? So kind of reintegrating those sophomores that are rising into juniors with the, the older kids and then the girls that are coming in as freshmen. The Eagles look to return plenty of talent from a year ago, with junior guards Summer Brooks and Abby Rieger manning the backcourt. Brooks, a first-team all-county choice as a sophomore, averaged nine points, three assists, and 2.5 steals last season. Rieger chipped in with four steals per game. Francis Scott Key also brings back first-team all-county pick Drew Watkins, the leading scorer from 2022-23 at 10.6 points per game, as well as front court mate Caroline Cooper. Brooks said the Eagles are focused on picking up where they left off back in February. Just keeping our same concepts of pushing the ball to the floor against the free throw line, but also we could tweak a few things because we did lose Allie and Reyna, some of our key players. But we just all want to keep working together to succeed together and hopefully the big outcome will come through. Rieger, a second team all CCAL pick last year, said adjusting to a new coach hasn't been too tough so far because of so many returning players the Eagles will have this season. The easiest thing's probably been like, we all have, we're all still the same team, so we all have each other to work with. So our practices, we should say, keep the same energy and team aspect. FSK enters the new season with a target of reigning county champs on its back and will have several challengers to the crown. Manchester Valley finished second in the county standings last season, and Westminster was third. The Owls were in action Monday night and took care of rival Winters Mill. Maddie Gaskin, the first team all-county player last year, led the Owls in scoring and rebounding in 2022-23. Walther, who spent the last six years as junior varsity and assistant varsity coach at Liberty High School, said the West Carroll Summer League serves as a great chance to work with his new players as they transition into a new coach. Honestly, the most optimal time for us to deal with this transition, but just this whole summer it's been maybe awkward at times or just kind of getting to know each other has been a lot of what we've been kind of doing. So it's been, it's been great so far, but that's been the hurdle. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.